we're reviewing the cat power tower. Here to help me is Tiger by Milo. He's older. We'll get a shot of him at some point when he comes out from his nap. He's older and has, you know, doesn't jump as high and is a little arthritic and so, you know, it's understandable. But I have a young cat that we've had for maybe three years. He will not go on a cat tree of any kind. He's scared of it. And he loves to go up to that window um, because those are the only windows here because it's a basement. And the other cats are happy to climb other scratching posts, steps. We even have a ramp going to another window. And they are happy to climb whatever to get into the window. Peggy, on the other hand, will not. He will stand on the floor and leap to the window, uh, sometimes on the bed, although now he really can't do that. Um, and he makes it, but it terrifies me what's going to happen as he gets older and maybe misses. I mean, he, I think he could get really hurt. So uh, in the back of my mind, I'm hoping maybe this will be the thing for him because I'm always hoping any new scratching post or tower, we maybe entice him to use it, but I don't have high hopes. So Tiger, what do you think? I think we should let Nicole explain all the different parts of the Cat Power Tower since she's the one who put it together. Uh, I'm not as handy, although I think pretty much anyone, and she'll tell you, uh, could put this together because the instructions are great and from what I understand there's also a video uh, that will help you but Nicole will tell you more about that. So this is the cat power tower and there are three components, three platforms to this tower. The first, you can assemble them in any way you'd like but this is kind of your standard setup. The first is the hunting platform. So you can see it's got all of these little holes in it. We have some Mylar's balls. We put treats in there as well. Um, these carpeted pads have four little holes that cover your hunting holes. So you can kind of arrange them any way you'd like. They could be in the front, just in the front, um, along the sides. We have ours set up this way. Um, so the cats can access the scratching post, this 27 inch tall scratching post in the back here. Um, the cats can stand here and scratch. There's also scratching material on the backhand side of this scratching post so they can be behind it as well and scratch there. So the hunting platform is a big hit. Um, sprinkle some catnip in there, throw some treats in there and they can play from the floor. There's holes in the front, on the sides, and in the top. So they play from the floor, they play from up here. Sometimes we catch this guy um, standing with his feet in the holes. Um, so whatever they need to do to stay happy. The second platform is probably the most exciting. So I think I'll talk about that one last. The top is the lounging platform. It's a carpeted pad. But the great thing about it is that this completely removes. So. Inside, there's a nice wooden box. <laughs> a nice wooden box, sorry, Pegasus. Um, that you can put beds and towels in if your cat likes to have a rim around the edge and get to sleep in here like a nice padded bed. Or you could store all of your toys and goodies that you're going to put in the hunting platform up in here, which is a wonderful way. So, that is your lounging platform. Now this is the most exciting feature of the Cat Power Tower. <laughs> on, the, on this play platform, there are three settings underneath here. The setting all the way to my left is on. By turning it on, this will continuously spin. You can set it for set play times during the day, uh, five, 10 minutes at a time, and let the cats play. The great thing about that is that it moves independently of wherever a cat is sitting. So if Tiger decides he wants to play with the feather teasers from this platform, it's still moving. Or in our case, we have a window back here, so the cats can play from the window ledge as well. You can also set it to off, or all the way to the right is a switch for automatic. And the great thing about the automatic setting 
is that when a cat lands here, the teaser turns on. So the cats can play from down here, or our cats sometimes tag team. Tiger will sit here and attack from underneath, while Coco or Pegasus sit up here or in the window and attack the feathers. So the spring-loaded board, as soon as they land on it, will turn the tiger teaser, not the tiger teaser, the, the feather teaser on. There is exciting news. The tiger teasers will soon be a portion, an optional attachment for the carousel as well. Um, there are furry mice and balls as well as optional carousel attachments. What about putting it together? Assembly took us probably about an hour. It took me about an hour. Um, it's heavy. That's the really big thing that I caution people is these, each platform and each post is very heavy, um, which is wonderful because it makes this nice and sturdy. You're not going to knock this thing over. So you might need extra help. Um, part of what you do is assemble all of the pieces with it lying down or on the floor, and then you're going to have to tip it over to attach the base legs. Um, I don't know that you can really see them where this is positioned, but they're crisscrossing bars. Um, and to screw everything in nice and tightly, you might need a little extra help putting it together. You're going to have to lay it on its side um, and then upright it. So it's, it's a pretty heavy piece, but it's wonderful because it's nice and sturdy. So all in all, we really couldn't give this a higher rating. Absolutely. I love everything about it. I know Nicole knows even better than I do just how sturdy it is. I mean, you can see this thing doesn't budge even when you try to make it move. Uh, but she knows from putting it together yes. <laughs> how, how, you know, it's solid. strong and solid the parts are. Um, and that's been a big complaint from other cat parents that I talk to when they buy other scratching posts, they're very worried about them being wobbly, and they usually are. Uh, there's no wobble to this one, that's for sure. And it's got things to play with. Uh, it's got this very clever weight automated carousel, which yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. And um, the platforms are huge, which is great right, for a large cat. Right. Um, I wanted to say Milo, of the two cats we said, you know, probably wouldn't use it or didn't usually use right. a, a climbing tree. Uh, one was Milo, one was Peggy, who's just afraid of them, but Milo's <laughs> the older cat, who doesn't probably feel that his balance is all that great as he's getting older. Um, he actually uses it, and I think, we think it's because of the size of the platforms. It's so much nicer than any little, you know, I think he feels very secure. Yeah. If he steps up on this, you know, he's a big cat, but this is a really big surface. They all are. Um, and it's sort of like, you know, steps, very natural way to climb up. And so Milo uses it, and of course Coco and Tiger. And then a most amazing thing happened, which I'm actually just going to show you. I'm going to show you this next video clip of Peggy, the cat who has always been afraid of climbing trees.
yeah She's your dad's best friend Uh-huh